Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you about plugin hooks on UserSpice. And uh, if you've seen my old video, you know that it got cut off partway through. So I'm doing a re record. And even if you have no intention of ever writing a UserSpice plugin, these plugin hooks can come in handy for you. So, uh, what is a plugin hook? A plugin hook is something that we originally developed for people who are making plugins to allow them to inject their code into common user spice pages without having to actually change the page itself and so if you go to the plugin hooks page at user spice you can see that we have things like account.php login join places that people often want to make changes and now you could take your join.php file and copy it over to user c and edit it but from that point on your file is kind of forked from ours if you have the ability to use a plugin hook, then as updates keep happening to user spice, you'll get those updates on that page. So um, if it doesn't make sense now, it will in just a couple of minutes. We are going to go to the user spice plugin manager and or spice shaker, and I'm going to download two plugins. The first one is going to be demo, and the second one is going to be called hooker and we're going to install those two and uh, so if i come here to my plugin manager i can see that they're both here uh, and so what we're going to do is we are going to look at demo so i'm going to grab the code and if you look at the install file and basically every user spice plugin has something similar to this down in this section here you see where it starts talking about hooks and um let's say that we want to put something on the account page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete these just for clarity and i'm going to comment in this line and let's say that i want to put things uh, on account.php now what i would do is i would go back to the plugin hooks page and i would see that account.php has three places that i can put a plugin hook there's pre, which is always at the top of the page, uh, usually before any forms or anything like that. And uh, then there's body, which is below the gravatar. And so I'll just show you this so you understand what I'm talking about. On the account page, body would be down here. And then bottom is the bottom right. And these are just positions. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my code back here. And I'm going to say that I want to go to account.php go to the body position which is that bottom left and i'm going to make a hook called account body okay and then i'm going to do the same thing for the bottom right so i'm going to say hooks and i'm going to change these two to bottom so great um now the final step i need to do is to actually make my hooks and so if i go into the i'm in the demo folder so if i go into demo and hooks you can see that there's four uh, of them already in here we're just gonna take we're gonna delete these three just to get them out of the way and I am going to go to login body and I'm gonna rename that to account body because that is my uh, that's what I said the plugin hook is gonna be and I'm just gonna say account body and then we're gonna duplicate this one more time and we're gonna say count bottom and then inside that we're going to just say bottom so what's going to happen now if i come back to the plugin manager now when i activate this plugin i'm going to actually go back and i'm going to uninstall it and i'm when i install this plugin all of a sudden in the account page i have account body and account bottom and you can see these things are just added to the page as if nothing had happened as if they were there all the time and so you could come in here to these positions and I could do um, and I could just do and then uh, I gotta put an end quote there and I could say Now, just one little note on these left buttons, I like to put these in a div form group 
um, and that'll give you the right spacing. So if you were to come up here and put this in here, and then let's just say, uh, yeah, we're not gonna really put anything there, you get the point. Uh, so now if I come back here to the account page, you can see that all of a sudden now I have this button here. It's the same spacing as if it was, uh, as if it was there all along. And so basically I was able to inject that code in there and you can do that in all these different positions that are listed and if you really do need a plugin hook position added to another file we could probably do that for you to make your plugin compatible you can see that we just added these two in version 5.05 um, so that's if you're a plugin developer now what if you have no interest in being a plugin developer actually i want to show you one one last thing when i come over here to the dashboard and I go to my plugin manager and all I have to do is deactivate this plugin and all of a sudden those things are gone. So it's kind of nice that as the plugin is added and removed, these, uh, these plugin hooks come and go. So, um, but what if you have no interest in being a plugin developer and you just want to be able to use that feature? Well, check this out. So if I go back to my plugin manager and I install and activate the hooker plugin, then you can see I have this thing down here called hooker and I can choose a page. So let's say account.php, choose a position, let's say body like we just did before. And then you can choose a hook and we give you a sample hook here and you add the hook. And now you'll see that you have account.php, body and this sample hook here. So now when I refresh this page, I just I added a sample hook that's just listing the permissions that this user has. And so all you have to do with to use the hooker plugin is to come in here and in your hooks you can make additional files. So I'm going to duplicate this one here and we're going to call this uh, demo. And now inside this demo hook I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before and I'm going to do div class equals form group and I'm going to say button type equals button and then we'll do class equals button button danger and then we're going to say save it and now that's not going to load automatically so I would have to come in here back to my hooker thing and I can delete this hook and I can say I want account account body and now I want to use the demo one. It automatically picked that I added that up. And then now I can come back here and I have my dangerous button. And it works exactly the same way. If I come in and deactivate the hooker plugin, those buttons go away. So again, that's in less than eight and a half minutes. That is plugin hooks. Enjoy.